Now I would like to recognize uh, the gentle lady from California, Ms. Kim, uh, for an opening statement. She is a co-sponsor of the bill. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I'd like to be recognized to talk in support of the bill, H.R. 3462. And I want to thank um, Chairwoman and Ranking Member for holding this important markup. I appreciate our committee's focus on cybersecurity uh, with the hearing last Tuesday, as well as today with several cybersecurity bills before us. One of the discussion points raised in last Tuesday's cybersecurity hearing was the concern small businesses have with the government's own cybersecurity measures. Many of us sitting in this room have been the victims of a cyber attack on a government agency like the OPM data breach in 2015. We know how critical it is for the government to protect these networks and safeguard our own personal information that we disclose to the government. This is important data like our birth dates and social security numbers. 50% of small businesses with 500 or less employees say that it is likely that they will experience a cyber attack in the next 12 months. And one in four are experiencing more cyber attacks compared to a year ago. That is why I'm voicing my support for HR 3462, the SBA Cyber Awareness Act. And I wanna thank my colleague and my friend, Mr. Crow, for working with me on this important legislation. The SBA Cyber Awareness Act promotes transparency within the SBA so that Congress and affected individuals with data like housing SBA systems are timely notified in the event of a cyber incident. When the SBA discovered a flaw in its idle application system, leading to the exposure of personal information for up to 8,000 individuals, the agency failed to make any public uh, announcement of the breach. And it was not until weeks later that the SBA notified affected individuals or even members of Congress. This was simply unacceptable. And I believe the urgent necessity of this legislation is very clear. In addition to timely notification, the bipartisan bill requires an annual cybersecurity report from the SBA detailing any cyber incidents and remediation efforts undertaken, as well as an assessment of the SBA's information technology and cybersecurity infrastructure. Such measures can only enhance the cybersecurity measures in place at the SBA and may even elevate some of the concerns small business owners and entrepreneurs might have in engaging with the agency. With that, I urge my colleagues to support this legislation and I yield back. 